Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update your graphics card driver on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So I'm going to show you a few different ways in which you can update your graphics card driver. So let's see them one by one. So for the first way, what you need to do, you just need to right click on your Windows start icon. So just right click and then click on device manager here. So just click on device manager, which is going to open this kind of window device manager you can also search in the search uh, box so just search for device manager and you can see device manager result is available here so you can open it from here also or you can open the control panel and open the device manager from there so once this device manager window opens you can click on display adapters and here you will be able to see all the graphics card which are there on your windows 11 operating system in my case, I have two graphics card. One is Intel UHD graphics and uh, the second is NVIDIA GE4MX130. So this is the main graphics card which is present on my Windows 11 operating system, right? So the first way in which you can update your graphics card driver is by just right clicking on your driver. So just right click on your driver and then click on update driver or you can click on the properties option, right? So let me click on that update driver option and then you have two options here. One is search automatically for drivers, which is going to search automatically for the drivers which you want to update. And for the second option, you need to download the driver and then browse to the driver file manually using this browse option. Let me choose the first option first of all. So I'm going to just click on search automatically for drivers. And you can see the best driver for your device are already installed. So I already have the best driver. I can also, as I said, I can also click on the properties and then click on the driver option and then update the driver from here. Here I can also see the driver date. So this driver is from 107-2021, right? So I can see uh, on which date this driver was last released and updated. And from here also you can see uh, if you have the latest driver or not. And once you click on the update driver option, as I said, if you have downloaded the driver file manually, click on browse and then just navigate to the file where you have downloaded the driver file and then click on OK which is going to uh, update your driver on your Windows 11 operating system. So this was the first way. Let me show you the second way. So in most of the cases, you might be having an Intel graphics card or the AMD graphics card or the Nvidia graphics card. The other graphics card manufacturers also have their own softwares, right? So for example, Intel, provide this uh, Intel driver support assistant. So you can uh, click on the download now button and uh, you can use this tool to automatically update the Intel driver on your Windows 11 operating system. I'm going to provide all the links in the description of this video so you can directly come to these websites. Similarly, you have this tool for the AMD uh, drivers also. So you can uh, see this driver is called AMD driver auto detect tool, which you can download it from uh, this website and then uh, use this tool to update your graphics card uh, drivers. For NVIDIA, you have this tool which is called NVIDIA driver downloads, which you can download and use to update your NVIDIA drivers. So as I mentioned, I will, uh, so as I mentioned, I'm going to provide all these three links in the description of this video. So you can use these website to download these tools and then update the drivers on your Windows 11 operating system. Now let me show you the third way. So for the third way, you need to right click once again on your Windows start icon. And this time you need to click on task manager. So click on task manager. And as I mentioned, you can also search for task manager in the search bar and then open the task manager. Then click on performance tab here. And here you will be able to see all the graphics cards, right? So as I said, I have this Intel UHD graphics card 
and also I have this NVIDIA GE4 MX 130 you can see the exact name of this driver here also so once you know the exact driver name from here in my case it's nvidia ge4 mx 130 so you can search for the nvidia ge4 mx 30 in my case and you can give any driver name from here and then just write driver download here and you will be able to see the official website which provides this in my case it's uh, nvidia and you can see uh, GE4 MX30 driver will be available on this website so here you can see more information about this driver so if you see the download button for the driver on the website you can click on that otherwise you will be able to see drivers uh, tab here at least on the Nvidia website and then uh, you have the automatic driver update uh, tool which you can use to update the drivers automatically or in my case I know uh, the exact name of the driver so I can choose the product type GeForce and then I can choose the series which is MX100 and then I can choose the product which is MX130 right and then I can choose the operating system on which I want to install this and then choose the language and then choose the download type and then click on search and once you click on search you can see the driver result so you can see the latest driver version was released for the particular driver in my case is on november 16 2021 and as i uh, have seen here in the driver details in the properties in my case the driver date was uh, 1 7 2021 so i know that the newer driver is available and i can uh, download this driver and then as i mentioned you can just uh, go to uh, the update driver and then click on browse my computer and then browse for this driver file and then click on next which is going to install this driver on my windows 11 operating system so these are few different ways in which you can update your graphics card driver on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.